Hey everyone, it's the Amazing Ryan here with another epic Minecraft video and today I'm going to be showing you some redstone basics. So we're going to start by going over here. Here I'm in my super flat world so I've got all this, real, this space to work with which is really really cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back here in the backyard of my mansion and we're going to go over some of the different items that use redstone. Now uh, first things first let's look at our inventory. If we look over here at the redstone and transportation area we've got a lot of different things but we're going to cover a couple of things today. The first thing we're going to cover is uh, pistons and sticky pistons. Essentially they're the same thing except for a sticky piston you can attach a block to it. Um, also dispensers droppers which are practically the same thing but we can get into that later what we're going to focus on today is a sticky piston and redstone repeaters so here's a sticky piston now a sticky piston works many different ways you can put a switch directly on you cannot put a switch directly on it but you can put a switch directly behind it you can put a switch right next to it or you can put a switch on the block behind it or on the block next to it or on the block above it. Now, you don't have to use a switch. You can use uh, pressure plates, other things, and you can use redstone. Now, redstone is essentially like wiring. If you've got a wire that runs from your switch to your piston, it's going to power it. Um, but that's all pretty basic stuff, and you probably already know that. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to build something that I use in almost every one of my worlds. I call it the never-ending machine because it just keeps running forever and ever and ever. It's like an engine. So this is how I make the never-ending machine. I basically, oops, I made this wrong. There we go. I basically do it like this. Oh, I did it wrong again. We got your redstone here, leaves a trail, goes over here to the back side. Now, this is a redstone block. You probably already know this is a power source. So whenever it's, it's got redstone coming from it, it's powered already. It's kind of like if you would imagine the same thing as a block that has a switch that's always in the on position. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the redstone block and we're going to stick it to the sticky pin. And as you see here, it sends a power signal all the way through here to the piston itself. But then when the piston pushes the block away, it cuts the power off, causing it to retract. And it does this incredibly fast, so it basically creates this engine that's just constantly running. So, the only problem with these engines are, is when you use them like this, eventually it'll throw a block. And I'll show you what I mean. Because if we take this repeater, you'll see it's thrown the block. The reason being is because it's too fast. It can't handle um, all the, uh, the motion. So what we'll do is we'll put this repeater and we'll turn it all the way down. And don't worry if you guys don't quite understand the repeaters yet because I'm going to cover that in one second. So basically, a redstone repeater works like this. You can use it in two different ways. A redstone repeater works as both an amplifier as well as a delay. So let's let me show you something here. If you look, when you're running redstone, the further you get along, the weaker the signal gets, and eventually it cuts off completely. But if you use a redstone repeater, it will amplify the signal, and you have a strong signal again. Using repeaters lets you run redstone for miles and miles and miles and miles. And it's pretty cool, because sometimes you've got something really far away, maybe, uh, maybe you've got some fireworks in a dispenser that you want to... Uh, to launch so that's the cool thing with that so now you kind of understand one of the functions of the repeaters as the amplification aspect of it but there's another function that they do and that's as we did it over here earlier you notice that the machine slowed down when I hit the switch and I'll explain why because as the signal comes through as you can see this bright red signal is coming through it goes into the repeater and then uh, obviously it's because it's on full blast it didn't work so let me fix this real quick now this basically does two things here let me let me put this back here let me get this all back in order real quick guys sorry this takes two seconds so just bear with me here all right it keeps throwing the block because it's on full blast and the full blast is too powerful the block won't stay stuck to the piston it pops off but if we turn it down one setting we can get it working again all right so Basically what's happening, this signal is coming through here 
and it's paused for a second before it comes out the other side and that creates a delay essentially now with the first setting this is the speed we get we'll put on the second setting causes more of a delay the signal comes through it pauses for half a second and then comes out the other side and if we put it on the final setting it's about a full second delay so the signal comes through it's delayed for one second and it comes out the other side so you might be wondering okay what is the purpose of this machine that's running forever seems kind of silly well there really is only pretty much one general purpose you can use and that's for doing uh, some cool flashing lights and things like that if you look here when we uh, use this machine we're gonna run some redstone over here and when the when the redstone block is right here it actually makes contact and it lights us up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a redstone lamp here so as you can see every time that redstone block comes into contact with the redstone powder it lights this block up which is pretty cool but that's not all that great one flashing block what more can you do with that well let's get back into these redstone repeaters so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a long line here and we're gonna put a repeater uh, every so often like this and we're gonna turn the delay all the way down to like a full second alright so now the signals coming here it's delayed for a second coming out etc so now let's do this let's put a redstone lamp here before it goes through repeater now basically this is lighting up every time that piston comes into contact now we're gonna put another redstone line here and another lamp and look at that it's an alternating flash and we can do that again over here and as you see because these repeaters are delaying the current it's making the flash delayed as well so if you look here we have this really cool alternating flash pattern and there's a lot of really cool things you can do with this you can actually also do this with uh, redstone torches you can make them light up as well however um, it's not quite as simple as placing them uh, right in front of the redstone but that's some information for another video so now you know the basics of redstone pistons and redstone repeaters so hopefully you can use this information later and make some really cool stuff but the never ending machine is a really cool thing to have i use one in my delorean time machine build to power the flux capacitor and i essentially did it the same way using the repeaters and the delay to alternate the flash of the flux capacitor in the delorean time machine build and if you haven't seen that video you should check it out because it's pretty cool anyway that's all i got for today so thanks for watching i appreciate it and make sure that you leave a comment like subscribe all that fun stuff tell your friends because the Amazing Ryan is all about helping you guys have more fun with Minecraft. Thanks, guys. Bye.